I'm bringing you another video today is uh, Wednesday Wednesday um, March 16 um, I did a previous video but uh, something happened to my uh, cell phone that I think I erased the damn vlog so uh, the topic was er Eric Weddle going to the to the Ravens uh, what can I say about that signing? Eric Weddle. <laughs> Eric Weddle has four solid years, maybe three. Um, right now, he is in his prime. Um, he did a four year deal. 20 or 30 million some number like that I don't have the the information with me I'm just guessing but it was a around their number but if you if you are and that's why I don't man that's why I don't get sometimes some NFL players agents that why do you go with to a team that is not going to be a contender for a while? That's terrible. If we build the division right now, um, the Pittsburgh Steelers have the edge. <laughs> Then I have to say Cincinnati Bengals. And then it's a third between the Ravens and the Browns. And uh, yeah, they got Mike Wallace to go with uh, to help to help uh, Joe Flacco on the offense. Steve Smith is coming back, but it's not enough. Steve Smith is as good as a player he he is. He is uh, last last tank on last gas in the tank, um, and Mike Wallace. The, the last since he moved away from the Steelers, the Steelers had Mike Wallace, uh, Bert, Bert, uh, Emmanuel, who's right now uh, with the Broncos, and uh, Brown, who is Antonio Brown, who's current on the team. That was a trio that went to the last Super Bowl against the Packers, and Mike Wallace was the man. Then Emmanuel, Emmanuel Sanders, but now it's Antonio Brown. Emmanuel Sanders has done good from for himself by going to the Broncos. He was an intelligent man. Uh, Mike Wallace went right after the money. He didn't care the team, and he had crappy years with the uh, Dolphins, and. More or less year with the Vikings. Now he's with the Ravens. But um, 
if you are a player and you have the opportunity like Emmanuel Sanders to go out to a contender, why did not Eric Weddle win the same direction? I know the money, the first team they, uh, the first team it called, but I don't see the Ravens doing anything this year or maybe the next. They need a lot of help on the offensive side. Defensively, they're average since they since Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, those great players retired. Um, Sucks, it's okay, but he has two or three years left. And he's on the downside. Her, his best years were when he, when Ray Lewis was still on the team and they went to a Super Bowl against the Niners. So, tell me guys, um, tell me gente, uh, what you think about about the Ravens signing Eric Weddle was a good idea for Eric Weddle. Me personally, I don't think so. No! Uh, I don't see the, the, um, the Ravens going anywhere. Uh, I want to take a moment. Um, I want to thank, I want to not take a moment and give shout outs I'll say hi to Renegade 412 I see a Jackson uh, McMain 70 y mi gente mi, mi latino Arcantos Spartan uh, saludos totales mi gente uh, thank you for still being my subscribers I really appreciate it guys Hope you're doing well and in closing as always guys always remember to be humble and blessed this was your host Omar Guevaraz like dislike the blog's all good reaching to one subscriber at a time sorry if I'm talking kind of funny it's because I have a retainer right now I have brackets so uh, my apologies have a great evening guys and I'll see you on the next vlog. Thank you.